welcome students today we are going to discuss a very interesting question from the topic factorial notation here question is find the value of n if n plus 2 whole factorial by 2n minus 1 whole factorial into 2n plus 1 whole factorial by n plus 3 whole factorial is equal to 72 by 7 okay so this is very interesting question let us see the solution we have n plus 2 whole factorial by 2n minus 1 whole factorial into 2n plus 1 whole factorial by n plus 3 whole factorial is equal to 72 by 7. Okay. First of all, we'll here expand some of the factorials so that we could simplify it. We could cancel out some factors from numerators and denominators. As for example, if you write 2n plus 1 whole factorial as 2n plus 1 into 2n into 2n minus 1 whole factorial, then that 2n minus 1 whole factorial will be cancelled out with this 2n minus 1 whole factorial. Okay. Similarly, we will keep n plus 2 whole factorial as it is, but this n plus 3 factorial can be written as n plus 3 into n plus 2 factorial. Because in n plus 2 factorial, we are having all the multiplications from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n plus 2 and this is n plus 3. So finally, we will get n plus 3 whole factorial. So first of all, let us try to simplify it. So here we will keep n plus 2 whole factorial as it is divided by 2n minus 1 whole factorial into this 2n plus 1 whole factorial will be 2n plus 1 into 2n into 2n minus 1 whole factorial. And this n plus 3 factorial can be written as n plus 3 into n plus 2 factorial. This is 72 by 77. So if this n plus 2 factorial will be cancelled out from numerator and denominator. Similarly, this 2n minus 1 whole factorial will be cancelled out. This 2 will be cancelled out with this 72. This will be 36. So we are getting here 2n plus 1 into n. We will multiply these two factors. So we will get 2n square plus n divided by here we are getting n plus 3 is equal to 36 by 7. Now by cross multiplication we will get 14n square plus 7n is equal to 36n plus 108. Now we will transpose these two terms to left hand side. Okay, So we will get here 14n square plus 7n minus 36n minus 108 is equal to 0 or 14n square minus 29n minus 108 this is equal to 0 correct. Now we will factorize this quadratic expression this quadratic equation and after factorization we will get the value of n fine. So, we can write here 14n square minus this 29n can be written as minus 56n plus 27n minus 108 is equal to 0. So whenever we will simplify these two parts, finally we will get minus 29n. 56 minus, 20, minus 56 plus 27 is nothing but minus 29 and after multiplying these two numbers we will get the value that we will get after multiplying 14 and 108. Okay? So in this way you know quadratic equation so we can factorize this quadratic equation and we will get the value of n. Fine. Now we will take here common from these two terms. So from these two terms we will take common here. 14n. So, we will get here n minus 4 and here we will get 27 will be common n minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, again taking n minus 4 common from these two terms, we can write n minus 4 into 14n plus 27 this is equal to 0. So you see here product of these two factors is 0. So either this part will be 0 or this part will be 0. 
So by equating these two parts separately with zero, we can get value of n. So when when n minus four is equal to zero, we will get here n is equal to four. This value we are getting here, value of n that is n is equal to four. And if and if fourteen n plus twenty seven is equal to zero, then we can get n is equal to minus twenty seven by fourteen. This is not acceptable because n is a whole number. It natural number. It cannot be negative number, or it cannot be a fractional number. Fine. So here we are getting n is equal to four. This is the answer of this question. Fine. So this is very interesting. Hope you have got the solution, and you will try some more problems. You will do some more practice, and you will have a good command over this topic. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.